What is up guys, Alex here and I'm back with another M1 MacBook Pro video. So today I wanted to take you through kind of how I go about setting up my MacBook and then a couple of my favorite apps that I use on a regular basis. So let's kick it off with how I set up my MacBook Pro. So first thing I always suggest is set up each new MacBook Pro as a brand new MacBook Pro. You have the option of transferring stuff over from an old Mac I like to set up set it up as a new one because it just means everything is a lot cleaner over time on a Mac you gather some junk and stuff that you don't need so by setting it up as a new Mac you have a clean slate so yeah that's just something that I like again it's personal preference but it works for me then the next thing that I would suggest doing is go into your Mac and check for any software updates you might think that you've got a brand new laptop and it has the latest software but in actual fact when they're delivered they're sometimes two or three updates behind so i always just get that out of the way first so to do that you just go up to the apple sign here click on about this mac and then click on software update and by doing that first thing it sets you up nicely to get the best out of your mac straight away basically so the next thing that i do and i'm not going to get into setting up icloud and all that stuff i think that goes without saying so once you have all that sort of stuff set up I go into the app store and I download an app that overwrites the lock screen. So in this case, it's called Amphetamine. And on my previous laptop, it was Caffeine. Basically what it does is at the click of a button, I just click this icon and it makes the screen stay on and overrides the uh, lock screen, basically. So really powerful app. And it's great for when you're uploading videos or downloading something and you want the screen to stay on okay so next thing i want to talk about is finder and a few of the t little things that i do to just improve the usability of finder itself so if you go into finder and click on view i have path bar shown and status bar shown they're hidden by default so what that means is path bar is basically this this chain down the bottom basically it just shows you where you are within your finder folders and it just gives you a good idea of how to navigate around them and then showing status bar just shows how much storage you have left on your laptop at a glance which is a really handy thing another thing i like to do with finder is make sure that the scroll bars are always visible so by default they only appear when you start scrolling i like them to be there all the time so to do that you go into system preferences you go to general scroll bars and always on and that just means you know where you are within your if you're you have a list of photos or something like that um and the scroll bar is halfway down you get a you get a gauge of how many files are in that folder and how far down you are and it's just handy to have as a visual representation so another thing that i recommend and it's not necessarily on the laptop is for these new laptops the m1 macbook pro and the macbook air only have two usb ports so i recommend investing in some sort of dongle doesn't really matter what which one you go for this is a cheap one on amazon i'll link it down below but it, again it doesn't matter which one you go for all you need is a dongle that allows you to plug in other things like usb a ports sd cards a hdmi my screen here is actually only hdmi so i need it if i want to hook up the display but yeah some it's kind of crucial if you have sd cards and stuff like that to be able to get all your data onto your laptop all right, so next I want to just talk about some of the apps that I use on a kind of regular daily or regular basis. And the first one I want to talk about is Password Manager. Now there's loads of these around, so it's up to you to pick whichever one you want. I actually went for one password and I'm pretty new to it, but it is what it says on the tin. Basically, it's a password manager. It's very important to keep all your data safe these days and you do have to pay for it, but I think it's worth it to avoid any data breaches or getting hacked or anything. Okay, so the next app I want to talk about is Notion. And Notion is basically, in my opinion, an, a great note-taking app, but it's it's more databases driven. So I can have all my notes here and it syncs over to my phone and my tablets and stuff like that. But what I use it for is, for this YouTube channel, I use it to write videos out and video ideas, video scripts, that's mainly what I do. So I use this kind of Kanban uh, system where I come up with some ideas for making uh, videos. I might be just on my phone and I think, oh, I might make a video on that. I'll write it out and I have all them here. And then I go through the process of picking one each week and 
I write out a script. So this is the one that I'm working on at the moment. So I go through some video title ideas, thumbnail ideas, a basic script. At the moment, because I'm quite new to this whole thing, I actually write it out word for word, so I have it there. But I'd hope to eventually just have bullet points and then be able to expand on them. But as I said, once I have different stages done, so at the moment I'm filming, so I'd have it here. Then once I finish filming, move it into editing. And then I just have a list of all the videos that I've actually uploaded. So that's how I use it for YouTube. Yeah, Notion is a great app and it probably deserves its own video. And that's something I wouldn't be comfortable doing just yet because I'm still learning about it. But yeah, Notion, very good app. Then the two creative apps that I tend to use are Photoshop and Lightroom. Again, I'm pretty much a beginner at the two of these, but I use them to create the thumbnails for this channel. And if I want to throw my hand at a bit of photography, editing and stuff like that, they're the apps that I use. I tend to use uh, Lightroom more so than Lightroom Classic because I just think the user interface is easier. Then the editing software that I like to use is Final Cut Pro. It's kind of the reason why I actually got this laptop. There's obviously a lot of detail into how you can edit videos, but I feel like the learning curve is very easy. So to get do the basics on it is very easy. I really recommend using the free trial that you can get for um, Final Cut Pro, which is three months, which is what I used for the first three months until I bought this laptop. And I actually did a video uh, recently on how I managed to save a lot of money on this laptop and, and all the pro apps that Apple have to offer. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it up above. Yeah, Final Cut Pro, very easy to use, the basics, and you can build from there as I'm doing at the moment. Okay, so the last app I want to talk about is probably the most powerful and most productive app that I use, and that is Rectangle. You'll see it up here. Basically, what this does is it allows me to snap windows into place using keyboard shortcuts just to save time, basically. Okay, so if I open up a couple of apps here, um, I'll open up Safari, Google Chrome, and Notion. And basically, once I highlight one of these apps, I click Control Option and whatever arrow key I want, so right, and it snaps over to the right. Then if I click on Chrome here, it snaps over to the left. So say I was watching a YouTube video or something like that, I can be here and I can be taking notes on Notion. There are lots of different uh, shortcuts, so you can hit U, J, K, and W to do the four corners, which can be handy. I don't use that too much. I generally just use the left and right option, as I like to do split screen. But yeah, really powerful app. Should probably be something that's standard on Mac, but you have to download an extra app uh, for it, and I think it's really great. Anyway, that's just a few tips that I have for setting up a new MacBook Pro and then some of the apps that I use on a regular basis. If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing and thanks enough for watching and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.